Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today, we're going to install Irony slash Sarcasm mod on Emacs. In this series of videos, we've been installing mods to Emacs to make it a strong CC++ development environment. Especially in the last episode, we installed Seeded mod, which gave us true IntelliJ sense. In this episode, we're going to try something different. We're going to try the Irony mod, which gives us almost the same thing as Seeded mod, except it uses CLang libraries. I'm going to start from where we left off at the second episode, and I'm going to install Irony mod uh, on top of that. Let's get going. So here's the list of what we're going to do. We're going to download and unzip Irony zip file from GitHub. We're going to do the same thing for MGPA simple JSON file. We're going to move simple JSON under Irony, and then we're going to move the whole Irony directory under .emacs.d directory. We're going to figure out our GCC version and we're going to download the CLang source code from LLVM for that uh, version. We're going to install Doxygen. We're going to figure out where our CLang dynamic lib lives. We're going to compile and install Irony and configure Emacs to use it. And then finally, we're going to add a .clang underscore complete file to our project. Let's get going. <laughs> Take a look at the project I'm going to be using in this video. I have two directories, source and myinc. In source, I have main.cpp and helper.h. In myinc, I have myat.h. Main.cpp calls both of these libraries. Helper library has just a simple help function. Myat has just a simple add function. Let's take a look at the directory structure one more time. Uh, we see those myinc and source directories and my five files right here. <laughs> Let's go to Google and search for Irony Sarcasm mod Emacs, and let's go to the GitHub repository page. In this uh, video, I'm not going to assume you have Git installed. So when we go to the GitHub repository pages of these projects, we're going to only download the zip files. So you don't have to do any Git managing. So let's download the uh, zip file. Let's now go and search for MJPA simple JSON. Uh, this is something that our um, uh, Irony mode requires. Let's go to the download directory, click on them and unzip them. Let's go to terminal and take a look at the contents of these directories, uh, of these zip files that we just unzipped. Here is Irony mode and here is simple JSON. We have to place the contents of simple JSON dash master directory under this directory, which is under Irony mode. It's uh, so we have to move the contents of simple JSON dash master to uh, lib slash simple JSON under irony. Now let's go to our dot emacs dot d directory. Remember, here is the contents of it. I'm going to move the irony mode dash develop into this directory and rename it to irony mode. Now that everything is in its place, let's make sure that we have Doxygen installed. I typed sudo port install Doxygen and it installs it. This is something that is needed by Irony. Irony works on CLang uh, libraries, so it needs a CLang header files. Unfortunately, Apple's Xcode does not provide us the CLang header files that we need. So we need to go to LLVM's website and download CLang source code and put it into a system directory so that Irony can reach it. And um, we first have to check the version of our compiler, mine is 3.4. So I have to download the source code for the version 3.4. Make sure that uh, what you download matches your compiler's version. So let's go to their website, let's go to the download link, and let's download the CLang source code. Let's double click on it and let's extract it. Now we're going to move the source code into uh, USR, the user local include directory. Uh, let's make sure uh, we, I'm just LSing into it. CLang-C is the directory that has the header files that we need. Let's just move this uh, directory CLang-3.4 to USR local include. This is a system directory so um, all the users of this computer will be able to use it. Let's verify that it's right there. Wonderful. And then CLang and include has CLang-C. This uh, path, we're going to use it while compiling Irony. Uh, let's create, let's go back into the Irony mode directory. Let's create the built uh, directory. We also need to figure out where the dynamic library is. This is a command we type. Oh, uh, I think I made a mistake, a typo here. 
Is this command? Yes. So this tells us where the dynamic library for CLang is. And um, that uh, whole path that I've just highlighted and slash uh, plus slash lib. And let's just ls into it. You see the lib uh, clang.dy lib, and that's the library that we were looking for. Let's finally compile our irony. Uh, let's type cmake uh, dash uh, lib clang underscore library path, and that's the path that we just copy paste it for our dynamic library. And then we do the lib clang underscore include underscore dir, and this is the directory we just download the clang source code to. So the configuration is successful. Let's now make it. Uh, make dash j4 and make is successful too. Now let's type make install. Now we're done uh, with all sorts of downloading and installing. We can go to Emacs and set up irony mode. Before we go, we need to copy um, this library location, um, this path to the dynamic library. Uh, let's start our Emacs and open that Emacs file. We're going to set the ld underscore library underscore path variable to the location of the dynamic library. And I just pasted it here. Uh, so uh, irony mode, we're going to load it uh, with uh, add to list to the load path of where our irony mode is uh, on and the elisp directory. So that emacs.d is where I put my irony mode. And under irony mode, the elisp directory is what I set the variable to the add to list. Uh, then we type require irony, and then we type uh, irony enable AC for autocomplete. Let's define a function that will enable irony mode for C and C++ modes. So we type uh, define and our function's name. This could be anything you want. I'm going to say when um, member major modes, uh, irony known modes. So let's just make sure that uh, when we call this function, it's only um, executed for CC++ for irony known modes. Um, and let's add the hook to C++ mode hook, my uh, function name, my irony enable. And, and then we're done. We save that Emacs. Let's go to our demo program. Let's start our main.cpp and let's see if Irony works. Let's go to helper since, yes, I just typed tap and now you see that all these um, uh, IntelliJ Sense is coming from Irony. The thing is, it doesn't work for add underscore obj because uh, my add.h header file is defined to be a, as a system header file. And Irony doesn't know where this header file lives. So we need to create a file called .clang underscore complete, which lives in the main directory of our, of our project. And now we just type this dash i uh, dot my underscore ink. I save this file and I go back to main.cpp. I hit control C, control B, and I choose load uh, clang underscore complete. Once Irony uh, loads this file, you can see that it can IntelliJ Sans, it can autocomplete for add underscore obj. Let's also try it with the standard libraries, uh, uh, std colon colon c out. And when I hit tab, as you see, it can also autocomplete. Well, that was it for irony. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.